It's too funny. Of yeah. course, we have to discuss <laughs> Arsenal. Um, a very like typical Arsenal performance of professional, not going to concede. Bukayo Saka doing what he does, goal and assist. Yeah. Havertz, which I found really interesting because... Goal they and did assist from him as well, isn't it? Yeah, goal, yeah. goal and assal for him. They did like a video where they asked all the players who scored our first goal of the season. Everyone was like, Havertz, 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 mm. Havertz. We was like, okay. Mm. No, no Jesus, none of it. A few people said that, but mm. everyone was like, Havertz, Havertz. And he did it. Great cross, great header. A lot of the talk is that people are having, and we'll do our own predictions, but people are having Arsenal as their favourites for the title. Obviously, Timber's going to be like a new sign-in. Mm. Thomas Party is fit by what by what everyone's saying. Calafuri's coming in, so it means that they've got someone for that left side of the system they play. Their defense is their crown jewel of what they what they mm. are. What are our thoughts on that? One on their performance, because mm. I felt like it was a very professional performance. They weathered the storm. I don't think you ever look at Arsenal and think they're going to concede anymore. You just know that they're just going to do what needs to do. Yeah, right. They had, that, they had that, like what was that one header before yeah. the half or whatever it was yeah. that. Kind of came close, but Ryan yeah. made a great save. I can't lie to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Joe Hart was doing some mad breakdown on my <laughs> day. I was like, man, no man was like, at his steps. Bro, <laughs> no, 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 said, no. go and get the ball quickly. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? No, 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 no. This is the psychology of the goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we never get goalkeepers it's good. Yeah, it's good. You respect A lot of the times, like, oh, he's been beaten at the near post. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, nah, give yeah. us someone who knows the X's yeah, and O's. I like it. I like it. And I thought why was actually really good as well. But yeah, same. I was dying. It was actually mad funny, but it was. <laughs> it, was, it was good and it's his it debut insane. as well yeah. it was his debut. but like what do you reckon Arsenal can do it this year but based on with the signings they've made up until this point um, or would they need more they need more for me mm. I mean I think Arsenal are brilliant they're going to be in the top two mm. hey I, I'm not going to say they can't win it but are they my favourites they're not my favourites I would have thought you know if you want to beat Man City you look into this summer I would never have thought Arsenal would start the season with a defender as their only signing. You know what I mean? And it's looking like, okay, they might get Moreno in. I don't know how much Moreno lifts the level, personally. That's that's my opinion. Yeah. Mm. I'm just looking at like, I'm still looking at that left wing, bro. I'm still looking at like, that left wing. I'm just thinking Arsenal needs to ad- address that. Mm. Saka has a lot of heavy, heavy lifting to do for that attack, man. Yeah. He really does. Mm. Yes, we know Saka's brilliant. And I think he might even go to another level this season. I think he's going to have a that's great it. season again. But... I just still think he needs a he needs a running mate, man. Mm. Yeah, I mean Trossard, yes, we know you're the ultimate in a way, plan B. Havertz, I think he's he's settling into Arsenal well. You can't really get onto him. Jesus is is gonna be in and out with Havertz. But that left hand side, Martinelli. I was gonna say <laughs> with just... with Havertz pretty much having second half of the season, the way he went with Germany, come back preseason, started the season well, he's not letting go of that number nine shot. And as you said, I think all his teammates are behind him. Jesus, bro, you're not a nine. We let, let's acknowledge that now. Do you think maybe where well, you're saying move that left, left. Wing, move to the left, bro? Because we saw him playing there for City when mm. City were winning titles. Mm-hmm. Mm. You, it takes the pressure of him scoring goals off him. We know as a footballer, Jesus is one of the best footballers out there, mm-hmm. so he can still be effective in those positions in my eyes. So I, I don't know why there seems to be all this pressure is, on a Martinelli redemption season mm. when in actual fact I think maybe you could just put Jesus out on the left the thing is with Arsenal they're going to be good enough to beat majority of the teams regardless mm-hmm. it's all about that their moments in the Champions League you're talking about in the end of the season mm. you know what I mean when Saka might have a bad game might need someone to come and help he's going to probably play 50 games in a row as he always does mm. so that's my only thing you're looking at into the game I thought Saka was brilliant I thought Odegaard had a good game yep. you know I, but Wolves did grow into the game. You know what I mean? In the second half, Wolves grew into the game and Wolves, even Gary O'Neill was saying, they're kind of disappointed that they couldn't get something out of that. Mm. I, I mentioned, Wolves have to take this momentum. They have to work. They've got momentum right now. They need to take in their the chance. In the second half, innit? Yeah. Because Arsenal will punish you. And in instantly, we're five minutes. I saw that like two minutes after your tweet. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. five minutes, Bakayo Saka, bam. That's, that's the difference. That's the level that Arsenal are. You know what I mean? They can flip the switch quickly, especially in the Premier League. Mm. But I still think, you know, I saw Declan Rice was playing in the eight and in Partey was in the sixth. I don't think it was Declan Rice's best game receiving the ball between the lines and stuff. I don't think it was his best game. Did he come off injured as well? He had had cramp. He had had a cramp, which is rare to see Declan Rice have. But But I I just look at Arsenal and I still see them as a, obviously in the top two, but I just think just to go that extra mile, I would probably still dip into the market. Do do you know what stands out for me is I feel like Arsenal are at the place where City are now where if you look at parts of last season where I think they smoked like four teams on the road 4-0, 5-0, etc. There was that period, season. yeah. There was One that period. Weird period. Arsenal are a team now where 
they know that most of the teams in the league know that they can't compete and can't mm. live with them. It's that fair factor where they can go on and win games, which yeah. is great for them. That's the base you want to start lifting up from. What you're speaking about is the finer details that enable you to win against a tough opposition or when it's not working. If you look at their season last year, you could probably break it down to maybe three games. The Villa game where Watkins scores, the game against, was it West Ham, I think yeah. it was, whatever it was. Fulham, in December, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And December. And yeah. it's, I guess for them, it's how do you make sure that you don't get to a place where the players are tired at that stage and you've got people that can come in or how do you make sure that you don't make those same mm. mistakes again? I feel like their squad's good. Sometimes when I think that they need another attacker, but I'm also like, they're so primed on what their defence is. Mm. If they're not going to concede goals, you're not going to concede. Mm. It's all about can the guys that are on the pitch just yeah, score but the goals. The thing is, is Arsenal last season conceded the least goals in the league and they yeah. didn't win it. Yeah. So that could, that could happen again. And it's not because... It's just in certain games, they couldn't score. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's not even that. And as I'm saying, is like, there's, there's even when you look at the Champions League, the Porto tie, the Bayern tie, they were kind of laboring their way through. Yeah. I felt like they needed a little bit of a spark because yeah. you're going deep into the season. You're going, City can rotate. Yeah. Yeah. City can do certain things. Not saying that City, the kind of myth that Squeaky City's squad depth is so stacked is kind of leaving now. But City, they're, still they're, they're, weapons, no, they're able to weapons. keep it fresh. Maybe that you can you can put that to Arteta. Maybe rotate a little bit more. I don't know. But Arsenal are going to have to find a way because we've seen the last two seasons that they're just going to have to find a way that in the business end of it, it talking about Arsenal right now feels pointless because you know where they're going to be at the end yeah, of the season 100%. towards there. But, it's the, but what the it's fan about how do they them. how do they how do they switch that? Exactly. But that's why I think an attacker. You bring in an attacker. You because know, because you mean? look that's at the depth think. on the bench as well outside of Trossard. You're looking at Reese Nelson mm. and Ketia. Fabio Vieira and I just don't think any of those three have shown themselves to be like in Ketia, mm, they're trying to sell. reliable but even in Ketia, I'll be rude you, I feel like they've sell. fumbled in haggling with Marseille Marseille have gone and signed two other forwards now mm-hmm. and now the market for people who want Enketia is closing you might even end up being stuck with him signed- um, yeah, um, that um, Ed, what's his name? Ed, 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 for, a guy, for a guy who hasn't scored over five yeah. Premier League goals in his career in a season, I don't know why you're asking such a high premium of broke European clubs. So mm. for me, I just think they obviously want to do the thing of getting someone out before they get someone in. Mm. But I think if you really want to go for the title, you kind of have to be ruthless, even if it puts you in a little bit of the red. Fuck it, just to balance out. Yeah. We've got some super chats here, and of course, it's only right we do speak about Bukayo Saka because. Even with the celebration, you feel like there's another elevation coming to, um, to for him this year. DOF says most Premier League assist aged when age 23. Sesk number one, Waza number two, Saka third. Started later than both, and at left back, this is the company he keeps. Um, Aaron Paul K says how many right wings are better than Saka in the world right now? How many right wingers? Yeah, I think he's obviously he's probably in the top three. Yeah, he's in the top three of yeah. Yamal Salah. and Salah, of course. That's a, that's my top three. Yeah, I don't know in, in what order. Salah, is, I still have his number one. And then, yeah. It, it goes to show the company. It goes to show the importance of the player mm. if anything was to happen to him. And I mm. feel like a lot of Arsenal fans probably agree with that. He's the one player you don't want to get injured, don't want to be tired. And again, not to compare... Well, you have to compare them because they're in the same situation. Mm. If you look at City's players that played for England... All of them started on the bench mm. because they've been resting and ushered back in. Mm. Declan Rice starts, has to come off with cramp. Mm. Um, Kyle Saka starts, Ateta subs him off to mm. make sure he looks after him. Because of the the difference in depth, you're having to utilise your squad differently. Mm. I mean, fair play for taking those players off, but those are your two more important players. Mm. You need to make sure that they're actually okay in December to do yeah. what they need to do. So it'll be interesting, but yeah, it's about, if, it's you, about, if you look it's about, at it's Arsenal, trusting your yeah. squad at the end of the day, because it's not like... Kyle Walker didn't play and then he played an a hundred million pound player. He played mm. Rico Lewis. Rico, yeah. yeah, I'm trying to say. So yeah, it's yeah. about trusting your squad at the, at the same time. That's what some that's people what are throwing is. some criticism at Arteta about that. But hey, that's that's that that's his decision. As long as you got Saka, Odegaard, Rice, Partey and these guys firing, mm. Arsenal are gonna be fine. You yeah. know what I mean? So at the end of the season, I expect them still in the top two to win it. I just the don't key know. pieces see, are good enough. It's just the extra. Yeah, know, I just don't know. Yeah. When I see Haaland's and KDB, if, if they can stay fit. I mean, last season R- they missed Haaland's about six, seven well. games. KDB missed quite a few. Mm. Haaland missed like seven games or something. I'm just like, mm. yo, if them man stay fit, it's hard to... It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Four in a row, bro. Four in a row. Five. It's going to be fifth. Well, this will be fifth. It yeah. could be fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 